Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Annie Z with What If Naruto Had The Karma Seal. So, let's get started. Years ago, Kaguya had just gotten an upper hand on Ishiki. Kaguya took the opportunity and stabbed him in his heart with a chakra enhanced punch. Now Ishiki, you will die. I have won. You will never lay a finger on this world or my children, Kaguya said. Damn you Kaguya. You're not the only one who's learned new tricks, Ishiki says, as he does some hand signs and seals appear around him. Kaguya, not knowing about seals, walked away, thinking she had won, oblivious to the fact that Ishiki had put a preservation seal on him. So, just you wait, Kaguya. You and your precious humans will die, and so will those stupid sons of yours on your entire line, Ishiki says. We now skip over to the night of the Nine Tails attack. Krishna had just given birth to triplets as a masked man appeared out of nowhere. Minato gets into a defensive position as he hears the screams of a woman. He looks around and sees the third Hokage's wife dead. The masked man grabs Menma and Mito while holding a kunai against Menma's head. Hand over the Jinchuriki and your children will live, the man says. The voice seems familiar to Minato but he can't just put his head around it. He seems like an older person that he once knew. Fine, just don't hurt them, Minato said worried. Meanwhile with Naruto, Ishiki's seal had broken as he stumbled out. Damn it, Kaguya, I'm still injured. Oh look, a perfectly good vessel, Ishiki says as he flies and spots Naruto. High chakra reserves, a good strong body and a baby which should be easy to take over, says Ishiki as he grabs Naruto placing a karma seal on him and fades away. A small diamond appears on Naruto's hand. Naruto's eyes also change to the back gun. Minato appeared, putting the twins away as he flashed to the masked man who released the nine tails. Minato uses his Hiroshin to block the Bijudama before teleporting back. Krishna uses her chakra chains to hold the nine tails down and keep it at bay. Minato then starts to do hand signs but was knocked out. Ambu, restrain the fourth, Hiruzen says, talking to his loyal Ambu, his personal Ambu. Hiruzen, what are you doing? Minato asked. I'm sorry, my boy, but you cannot die just yet. You have a family, and I'm an old man who have nothing left to live for. Both you and Krishna have your children, so let me do this, Hiruzen says, as he did the hand signs. No, please, old man. No, Minato yelled, but Hiruzen had a low level restraining seal which prevented Minato from moving. Death Reaper seal, Hruzen says as he places his hands on the nine tails and then shoves it into Menma and Mito, both getting half of the nine tails each. I'm sorry young one, I hope you both can forgive me, Hruzen said. Hruzen then dies as Minato felt the restraining seal disappear and fade away. We now see Minato in his private room. Minato was about to address the council when the door slammed open. Dryer walks in with Snardi. What are you doing here, Dryer? Minato asked. Minato, I need to speak with you immediately. This is of great importance, Dryer says. Can't you wait till this meeting is over? Minato asked. Minato, now it has to do with the toad summoning, Dryer says. As the elder council member, Homaru, starts to get mad, but Dryer shuts him up. Okay, we'll continue continue this in a few minutes. Everybody out now, Minato says, as the elders leave, apart, leaving Krishna, Dryer, Snadi and himself. Minato, there's a prophecy. It says that the son of the red dead and the yellow flash will get an ancient power and will save the or destroy the world. I believe it's Menma and Mito since they have the nine tails, Dryer says. Minato, can you hear this? Our two kids will be the saviors of the world, Krishna says. I do. Menma and Mito will be amazing, Minato says. And that's why you can't tell the village about the twins or they might destroy the world if they're not raised right, like the prophecy says. Dry says, I can't just not tell them. If I'm found lying, I could be removed from Hokage, says Minato. Well, we have to do something. We need Minato in charge, Sonali says. What should we do then, Krishna says. I have a plan, but hear me out. We tell them you're third born. Baruto was it? No, no, I mean Naruto, yes, Naruto holds the soul of the demon while the others have the chakra. A little lie, says Dryer. 
before he sensed bloodlust from Krishna. You want my baby to be a scapegoat? Krishna says. I don't want anything like that to happen, but we need a scapegoat and we got a perfectly good one here. He's not important to the world, Jaya says, lying as Minato stood there, seeing this. I mean, it's up to you Minato, but I want to save the world. If you don't want to save the world and let the world be destroyed, it's up to you. Make your decision now and let it live within your conscience for the rest of your life, Jaya says. Kushi, you know I wouldn't do this if there was any other way, but we have no choice. We have to do it for what we have been fighting for, for the world, for the village. I'm Kagi and you're my family. You all must be willing to sacrifice for the good of the village. And right now saving the world is the good of the village, says Minato. But, but he's our son, Krishna says. Krishna, it's one child's life for the whole world. I'm sure Nata would understand when he's older. He might be angry at us when he's young, but in the end he'll get the picture. Plus, it will just be a preview, preview of the life of a shinobi for him. Our lives are hard. Please, Krishna. It's for our dreams, Minato says. Why don't you see me or you hold it? Krishna says. Krishna, I thought you were clever. First of all, if Minato says that, he could lose his position and the other Kagis might not care enough for the prophecy. Like, Lord Ruzan since he didn't seem it would fit to help us, resulting in more war. Remember the last prophecy? And second is, if you say you hold it, then they might start attacking you and the kids might start hitting the village, making them choose to destroy the village that hurt their mother, which won't be saving the whole world, only a few portions of it, a big portion of it, but not the portion that co that counts the most, that's important, the leaf village, Dryer says. Fine, I hate that you're right, we'll blame Naruto, but if anything goes wrong and if the prophecy is wrong, I swear down Dryer, not even dying would stop me from attacking or destroying you mentally, physically and emotionally, Krishna says. Minato is now in front of the village. Firstly, I would like to say I am proud of how my village responded to the attack quickly. However, it was not without great loss. I will now present to you the heroes of our village, Menma and Mito. They hold the chakra of the beast. And I also present to you another hero of our village, Naruto, who holds the soul. My children are the saviors that hold back the beast, Minato says. People started cheering at first, but when they heard Naruto, they scowled and started saying, kill the demon, burn it alive, we must kill it quickly before it can recover, was what was said. Enough, you will not kill my son, Minato says. We now see Minato in the council room. Minato, we must kill the demon quickly before it can regain power, said a civilian. Yeah, we must kill it before it gets stronger, says another. We can't kill it. Killing the body will only result in the release of the chakra and the death of my other two children, our heroes, Minato says. Then might I suggest something, Minato? I think he should be trained to be a weapon for the village, says Donzo. Minato knew he couldn't let this happen because Donzo would figure out the truth immediately and he would lose his Kagi position straight away and Donzo would get his hands on the Hokage position and his children. Yeah, let Lord Donzo train it. It's a demon, we don't give a shit about it anyways, says Horano. Yeah, then it could be away from us, says Fagaku, trying to cut down the Namakaze Uzumaki's strength, also because he hated the Byakugan. That is not possible, Fugaku. Danzo, the way you train Shinobi will release the tailed beast. The Jinchuriki needs emotion for the seals to work. It was a defense made by the Shinigami to make sure it cannot be controlled. Minato says lying. Well, Lord Hokage, you say this child is yours, but he has the Byakugan. Please explain, says Hizashi. That I do not do not know about. He was born with it. I guess the mother or father of mine must have been an Hyuga then, Minato says, as Hizashi accepted it because there were a lot of rogue Hyuga children in the orphanage that were normally picked up, but we are getting off topic. I believe we should let the village take revenge on the demon by saying that if they hit him, they can get away with doing it, says Elder Homaru. Absolutely not. That's my son, says Minato. Well, Minato, you could disagree. But that will cause a rebellion, says Homaru. Yeah, and we are weak right now. The other nations would take the chance to destroy us and attack at any given point if they sense weakness in your rule, says Homaru. I won't allow it. That's a Hokage's kid, Minato says. You leave us no choice then, Minato. We'll put it to a vote then, Danzo says. Yeah, you see, Minato, this is why we like Danzo. He would make a really good Hokage because he actually listens to his people. 
says Huronu. Fine, Minato says, as Dry Dryer whispered that he needs to be Hokage to help the prophecy and that Donza would ruin it in Minato's ears. Everybody voted to be allowed to attack Naruto and get away with it, apart from Hizashi. Look, the Hugas are looking out for the demon, Fugaku teased. Watch your mouth, Uchiha. It was an Uchiha that commenced the attack of the Naitos. This is all your fault that the innocent boy is being attacked, said Hizashi. How dare you? That demon isn't innocent, and my Uchiha's did nothing, Fugaku says. Fugaku, quit acting like a child. Stop teasing Hizashi. Also, anyone telling their kids about Naruto being a demon or saying it near him will be executed. You understand? Intense emotions might weaken the seal. Minato says lying once again. He needed to make sure that his scapegoat was still alive. Otherwise they might start targeting men by Mito. Dryer smiled at him and nodded. Years have passed since the birth of the triplets. Naruto realized that men by Mito were favored and treated like princes and princesses, while the others while he was hated. Minato calls Naruto down. Naruto, today you'll be going with Jiraiya says Minato, with dislike towards Naruto, the kid was honestly annoying Minato thought. He always asks to be trained when he's just a useless little piece of shit. He should have probably let the village kill him, but then he'll be out a scapegoat and he needed a scapegoat. He can't really remember why he defended him so passionately though. Okay dad, Naruto says as Minato glared at him when he said that, but did nothing. Jaya took Naruto to the middle of the village where there was a mob. Here you go, a gift from the fourth Hokage. Take your revenge on the demon, Dryer yelled before disappearing. The crowd then started to cheer as they started to beat on Naruto. Kizashi Hanu grabbed the knife and plunged into Naruto. Ah, uh, stop, Naruto yelled. Fugaku stabbed him. Uh, wh why? Uh, Dad, Mommy, help me, Naruto cried. But the shinobis never stopped uh, as they continued to destroy him. Uh, please, stop. Naruto says, as they started to beat him, they started stomping him. Ah, stop it, Naruto yelled. Ha 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 ha, demon, this is what you deserve, Kizashi Hirano said. Yeah, demon, guess what? Your father gave us to you, which means he approves, us, he, pro he approves of us beating you for the rest of your life. Because guess what? We can get away with it, and you're not allowed to die because you are just a demon. Killing you now will just give you more power when you're reborn, says Mebuki Hirano. Stop it, please, cries Naruto, as a pool of blood forms underneath him, as he feels pitchforks and torches near his body. Never, it feels so good to give you the pain, just a percentage of pain that you made us feel when you attack the village, the demons yell. A villager burnt Naruto with a torch, while another stabbed him with pitchforks. Eventually, the Ambu cleared them out. They have been ordered to make sure that Naruto never died. One of the Ambu picked him up. Ew, I have to touch the demon. I wish I never lost that bet. Ew, he's bleeding out all out of me. Ugh, ugh, this filthy demon blood is on me. Touching my shinobi gear. I need to burn these when I get home. Ugh, ugh. The one holding Naruto says as they went to the hospital. <laughs> I guess you might turn into a demon then, says another one. Wait, what? Wait, does that really happen? Guys, please tell me you're joking, says the one holding Naruto. Yeah, we're joking. But honestly, the monster is so lucky we can't kill him, or else he'll be dead already. But it's better this way because we have a good punching bag than the Ambu says. Yeah, plus it feels so good to watch the murderer feel pain, said another. The Ambu then dropped Naruto off at the hospital. The medics, the medics reluctantly helped him. Fine, we'll only help him because if he dies, he'll be restored to full strength and destroy us, said the medic. The Ambu then went to the Hokage's mansion as they knocked on it and they were let in by the Ambu's guards that were guarding the Hokage and their children. Lord Hokage, Lady Krishna, the Ambu says, getting the attention of the two. What is it, Minato says, coming towards them, not wanting to disrupt the training of their precious children. Naruto is in the hospital, just like we planned, says Ambu, as the two nodded. Minato nodded and smirked. He will be free of this nuisance for some days hopefully, so he can train his children for a bit. Krishna also smiled. She was free from the clan failure for a bit. Inside of Naruto's mindscape, Ishiki wasn't happy. The karma wasn't completed yet, yet the boy was so injured that he would die if he never did this. The Uzumaki chakra of the boy had slowed down the karma seal. Normally a normal chakra wielding human would have been able to 
be taken over in the first year of the Uzumaki chakra required at least 20. This is because the Uzumaki chakra was descended from the Ususkis and it was impossible to take over another Ususki. But since the boy was mostly human, the Ususki part of the chakra only slowed it down. How dare these villagers treat my vessel like dirt. How dare they insult the one chosen to be an Ususki vessel, calling him a demon when he's a god, says Ishiki. An attack on my vessel is an attack on me, and he was an, and I was an Osuski. I would not be treated like this by any inferior creature. Now, this boy is dying, my vessel is dying, Ishiki sighed as he held out his hand. He didn't want to do this, but the wounds of Naruto's body started healing, as the Osuski mark fully transformed him into an Osuski, giving him complete control over his karma seal. I didn't want to do this, but you left me no choice, boy. To think I would have to give up my freedom and make you my own son by rewriting your DNA with my own DNA. Be happy. You are not a f one in full control of my karma. Of course, I could temporarily take over with your permission, but you can easily take control back. Now, I have another reason to hate these humans. These apes shall die for killing me and for torturing my son, Ishiki raged out. Naruto was in front of a man. No, a god. Naruto could sense the aura of the man. Who, who are you? Naruto stuttered out. I am Ishiki Osuski. If you are wondering, I am a god. You used to be my vessel, but now you are my son. Before those mortals killed you. Ishiki said with rage as Naruto stepped back. Ishiki calmed down, remembering that he was in front of an infant in Osuski term, but a child in human terms. Technically, his kid because the karma had made him his biologically. Ishiki then explained the karma seal and what had happened to Naruto and how Naruto was an Osuski now and was his son, the son of Ishiki Osuski. The strength you possess now is superior to all on this world, my son. Ishiki says as Naruto's head lit up when he heard, son, he always wanted a father and a proper family. Shall I tell you why that human family that you used to be part of disliked you? Why does insects want to kill you? Ishiki says as Naruto nodded. Well, you are the scapegoat. You see, your brothers hold the demons, but they just blamed you so that they can complete the so-called prophecy of them saving the world. An ancient power. Pfft, it's obviously you. You have an ancient power. Where's the Ninetos compared to an Osuski? We created those inferior little beasts. And not even that. That was created by a half-breed. Our full breeds create ten tails. Ishiki says. What? How dare they? Those Namakaze insects and those stupid villagers shall suffer, shall suffer for what they have done to me, Naruto says. That is my boy, Ishiki says. Now then, my boy. My second partner, her name is Yako Ususki. I've been sensing her chakra around there for some time. She's been looking for me. She's the king's daughter. She's around your age in Ususki years. She'll be in contact once she finds out. Well, she has found it out. Naruto, Ishiki says as Naruto nodded. Ishiki smiled at his son. His son will be the one to take revenge on this world for him. Naruto wakes up, his karma still glowing. In a faraway location, in a secret hideout. A pair of Byakugan eyes open wide. These eyes belong to none other than a female sitting on a throne. Ishiki, I finally found you. Father will be pleased. After all, you possess the rarest dojutsu. You need to have a son, that was your promise, so that I may marry him and that bloodline may be added to the royal bloodline. Your jo do dojutsu shall be my son's, she says, smirking to herself. You, get me Delta now, Yaku says. Yes, yes, your majesty, yes, yes, your majesty, says the servant, shaking. A few moments later, he heard footsteps as he spotted Delta. M M Lady Delta, uh, Her Majesty would like to speak to you, the servant said. As a few minutes later, Yaku heard footsteps. As the servant and the blonde-haired woman entered the throne room, Did Her Majesty summon me? says Delta. Yes, yes I did. Tell me, Delta, did you sense that high chakra pulse that felt similar to mine? Yaku says. Yes, my lady, I did. It was from a village full of insects. The village hidden in the leaves, says Delta. Well, I want you to bring him to me immediately, says Yaku. 
Your wish is my command, my lady, says Delta. With Naruto. Get out of here now, demon, the staff yelled, kicking Naruto or the demon out of the hospital. It took all of Naruto's self restraint not to stab them. How dare these Mongols throw him and Osuski out these lesser human life forms, Naruto thought. Naruto entered the compound to see Mama and Mito being trained by his godparents. Oh, look, Mito, it's the weakening. What are you here to do? Get blown back by the wind, says Menma. <laughs> I heard that you fell off the Hokage monument from mum and dad. Yes, how pathetic can you be? Can't you chuck a walk yet? Or are you making a scene so that you could get mum and dad's attention and that he could train you? Says Mito. You're such a disgrace to our clan. I don't get why didn't you just die. Like seriously, you are staying in our clan's name. Sasuke is mocking us because of you, Memo says. As Minato comes to see what the commercial is, Naruto, can't you see your siblings are training and you're disturbing them? Minato says as Menma and Mito stick their tongue out from behind it. Yeah, can't you see how important they are going to be to the world? Go to your room now, Krishna yells. Naruto looked at them with hatred, but they never noticed this. These insects that abandoned him and let those stupid other insects beat him. That won't ever happen again. Naruto walked upstairs and Menma mocked him. Yeah, you pathetic loser. Get out my sight. You're a disgrace to his clan. I can't wait till I become clan head because I'm going to make you my servant. Hinata-chan needs one. After all, she needs a replacement for Ko Hugo when she comes and marries me, says Menma. Your servant? Nah, Menma. He's going to be my servant, Mito says. As the two began to fight, Naruto's fish, Naruto's fist shook in anger. How dare these insects ever suggest that he would be a servant? He will put them in their places soon, Naruto thought. The next day, Naruto was walking outside the village. Naruto was walking without a care in the world. Naruto saw that one by one, a mob was forming and following him. Naruto chuckled. Becoming Osuski had really changed him. Naruto's karma seal started to glow as his Osuski DNA started to feel the power of the karma, of the, the chakra of the karma flow through him. <laughs> These insects. These insects think they can hurt me. How dare they? I can't wait to put them in their places. Naruto says to himself as he walks into an alleyway. He senses the whole world chakra and compared to him, it was like Pluto compared to the universe. Not even Pluto, a rock compared to the universe. His chakra was basically infinite compared to these lesser life forms. Ha 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 ha, demon. It's time for us to put you in your places, Kazashi Hirano says, as Naruto smirked. How dare you call me demon insects? I'm a god, says Naruto. How dare you, demon? You are no god. The sage of six paths is, you are just a demon. The nine tails, says Anuchiya. The same Uchiha then did hand signs. Fire style. Fire style. Fire dragon jutsu, says a Uchiha, as a dragon head comes towards Naruto. Who just stuck out his hand. The jutsu got absorbed into the karma seal. Impossible. How did you do that? I knew you was a demon. Was what was said as Naruto had enough. Now you insects, listen here. How dare you call me a demon. I'm a god. I'm higher than you lesser life forms. Now you insects will see what will happen when you challenge me, a god. Naruto says. As several chakra rods appear, piercing the shinobi. Naruto's guns then shifted to Ishiki's dojutsu. As Naruto enlarged the rods in the body, ripping them apart, he then shrinks the body, getting rid of the evidence, and stores them into his own dimension. Dirty insects, should have known your place, Naruto says before he looked up. You could come out now, I know you're following me, Naruto says as a blonde girl jumps from the building. My name is Delta, and my lady wishes to speak with you. We are from an organization called Kara. And our lady Yaroko Suski wishes an audience with you, says Delta. Naruto looks intrigued. Go with her. Yaroko, she was my part of a partner, says Ishiki in Naruto's brain. Okay, calm down, dad. I will go. Naruto replies in his head before he looks at Delta. Very well then. Take me to her, says Naruto as Delta nods. Very well then. Take me to her, Naruto says as Delta nods as the two leave. Two cars hideout. Naruto enters the hideout. 
to see people glaring at him as if warning him he better not cause problems or he'll be dead. Naruto scoffed. Only Yaku had a chance to match him just by sensing her chakra. Naruto entered the throne room. Ishiki, my father. Wait, who the hell are you? And where's Ishiki? Why do you have his chakra? Yaku says. My name is Naruto Ususki. Naruto says. Bullshit, there's no Ususki could. Naruto, I should know I'm the princess. Now I will give you one chance. Who are you? I wouldn't want to hurt a cutie like you, she says. Naruto started chanting chakra as every Kara member got in a fighting stance. Yaku's eyes widened when her Yakugan saw Naruto's eyes shift to the yellow eyes of Ishiki Osuski as she put out her hand, gesturing for all of her members to stop as Naruto also stopped. They all did it in haste. Well, Naruto did it after all of them stopped. You are indeed an Ususki. Tell me, how do you have Ishiki's chakra? She demanded as Naruto showed him, as Naruto showed her his glowing karma seal. I see, so Ishiki failed at a karma, which resulted in you becoming his son by having your DNA rewritten. Well, that's good news then. It seems like you have the privilege of courting me, Naruto-kun, since Ususki Ishiki did promise his son to me, she says as Naruto's eyes widened. M me? Me quoting you? Naruto started up. Yes, is there a problem with that? She says glaring at him. As the servants immediately had their hands on the weapons was what was seen through Naruto's 360 degree vision. No, I was just surprised that I will marry someone as beautiful as you, Naruto says making Yaku blush. Nobody had ever had the gall to say that to her, her face. Well, of course I am. I'm your princess after all, she says, turning around with her, f her face blushing as Naruto nodded, not really understanding. She's doing that weird thing that Hinata does with Menma, Naruto thought. Well then, Naruto-kun, tell me about yourself. Actually, that's going to take too long. Well then, use memory projection, Yaku says as Naruto nods. Uh, how do I do that again? Yaku, Yaku Naruto says. Did Ishiki not teach you anything? Yes, ch well then, I have the privilege of teaching you, my husband. Just channel your chakra to your head. It will be shown, she says, as Naruto did that. After watching it, Yaku got enraged. How dare those dirty mongols tr treat my naruto and Ususki elite compared to these lesser mongols, even if he was just a vessel at that time like that. Being a karma CEO user puts them all of... All of them below him. Naruto is above all of these mongols, even after his transformation and even before it. How dare they treat him so bad after he's been transformed into full of Siski and Ishiki's son, says Yaku. Naruto awoke, feeling Yaku sn snuggling up to him. Ah, so you have wakened my husband. Today I shall train you. You should send a blood clone, clone to that village, Yaku says as Naruto nodded. Naruto made the hand signs and sent it there. For the next few years, Naruto trained with Yaku, learning all about his dojutsu and his Osusuki body to its full cap capabilities. Something strange happened when Naruto was meditating. He sensed another chakra similar to the Osusuki. He pulled on it and he somehow gained the six black orbs around him, known as the Truth Seeking Orbs. He also gained a purple chakra cloak. His chakra rods were amplified along with his speed, strength and durability. His sensory abilities were off the charts. He could sense all the way across the universe where he felt one super large chakra, nearly 50% stronger than him. He had also became 25% stronger. After researching, both Yaku and Naruto theorized that Naruto was the natural reincarnation of Hagoromu's son Ashura and had gained his chakra and abilities. This had pushed Naruto far for being an Baby Osusuki as Yaku called him, he was really strong, he was on the level of Momoshiki and even Yaku herself. As Yaku was also young, she was about Naruto's age in Osusuki's years. So naruto are you ready for a spa? Before you go back to the leaf village and show them their places, Yaku says. Hell yeah I am Yaku, I'm gonna beat my siblings and then I'm going to officially leave after I wreck havoc on that village, Naruto says as Yaku smirked. And then when you Get back, we can make out, my prince, Yaku says. I can't wait till you get back, she's added on. 
Me too, my princess, but let's get started, Naruto says, putting on his battle-ready face. As you wish, my love, she says, as Naruto rushes at Yaku with a kick, but she blocks and punches Naruto, who also blocks. Nice reflexes, princess, Naruto says. You too, Naruto, she says, as Yaku gets back and she aims a hand at Naruto, and elements start to charge up Naruto, the fire, water, wind, earth, basically the whole five basic elements charge up Naruto. You should know my princess that that will work against me. I have an advantage that you don't. Naruto says as he puts out his hand, absorbing the jutsus. And then Yaraku says, oh I don't I? As her Rinnegan flares up, her Rinnesharing gun. Naruto is then sent flying back as Yaraku uses the Shinra Tensei. Well, sexy and deadly, Naruto said as Yaraku smirks, only to go flying back. I see you're not as weak as you look, as you once were, my dear Naruto can. She says as Naruto smirks, seeing Naruto behind her. His speed was immeasurable. They, they both smirk as the two clash with punches, sending shockwaves across the battlefield. A high level barrier seal was blocking the other nations from finding out. Elemental style, great elemental drill, Yaku says, aiming her hand at Naruto as a giant elemental drill made out of the five basic element form. Elemental style, five elemental dragon roar, Naruto says, as the drill and the dragon energy beams clash at each other, exploding, leaving both Yaku and Naruto injured. I believe that's enough for the day, my king and queen, Delta said. That is right, Naruto Summer. You must leave immediately, Koji, a clone of Jiraiya, said. Naruto smirked. He couldn't wait for Jiraiya to fight his perfected version of him. He would enjoy the despair on Jiraiya's face when he uses his clone to extract the bridges from his siblings. It would be like Dry himself killed the siblings. Dry would despair, especially after how attached he's gotten to them. I guess you're right, Naruto says, as he teleported to the village where his clone was. The clone dispelled, giving Naruto memories. Naruto got mad. How dare these Mongols treat his clone like that? Monthly fox hunts. The constant being looked down upon. The constant family beating him, using him as training practice. Hating on him, calling him a weak disgrace. But that wasn't what horrified Naruto most. The thing that horrified Naruto the most was that he and Ususki was being looked down upon by these lesser life forms that had the audacity to label him as the dead loss and the demonic failure of the Namakazis. Him, Naruto Ususki, how dare they? Well, today he will show these lesser life forms their place. Naruto put on his Ususki robes. He wouldn't be caught dead in that ugly blue and orange jumpsuit. Menma, Mito, Sasuke, Hinata, Sakura, Minato, Krishna, Jaya, Sanadi, and the rest of this village, I hope you're all ready, cause today the true me has returned and I'm out for blood, Naruto says. Naruto walks to the academy, people glaring at him. Look, it's the demon, he's wearing robes, what, ruined that ugly jumpsuit, can't afford anything else, they had to come in sleepwear, do you really think we'll feel sorry for you, no, this makes us feel happy that we hurt you, you have to stay in Lord Memma and Mita's way, the dr- uh, the villagers said as one of them started to f- throw stuff at Naruto, to which Naruto easily dodged. Demon, how dare you dodge? Have you forgotten about your punishment? Says the villager. Yeah, after you were suspected of murdering those missing people, with along with Councilman Horano and Councilwoman Horano, you were ordered by Lord Forth to stand still and take your beatings. Now take it like a demon you are, shouted Rose Horano, Sakura's aunt. Naruto's eyes twitched. He got mad. He held in his hang- anger today. Today he will show them their places. He should avenge his blood cone. He should avenge every little blood of his that was spilled. Every single injustice that has happened to him. Not to cast the jutsu. It was the one gathered from Karo's spies. It was one from this sanin called Orochimaru. The traitorous sanin of the leaf village. The temple of the Nirvana technique. Suddenly all of the villagers in the area started to fall asleep. Naruto then walked through the doors, acting like nothing had happened. Naruto arrived at the academy. It was the finals. <laughs> More like the final day I live in this pathetic village. Then it's time for me and Yaraku to complete the mission. Soon, we shall destroy everything, Naruto says as he took a seat. Everybody glared at him. Look, the back of demon fade is here, Sakura yelled, making everybody laugh. You demonic filth. How dare you come over here, even after I warned you yesterday, you failure. 
Are you trying to make us look bad? The Namakazis look like failures. Mama yells with rage. Mama comes right. Get those shit dirty, demon. Hinata yells. Disgusting demonic failure. Just die, Mito says. Lady Mito is right. Yelled her fanboys. The loudest being Kiba. He was just mesmerized by her voice. Demonic dope. How dare you silly the presence of me and Uchiha elite. You should be punished. Sasuke says. Yeah, Sasuke comes right. Yells. The fan goes. But the loudest being Harano. Sakura. Naruto ignored them, making them get madder. Sakura was about to march in front of Naruto, but then a flash caught everybody's eyes. Minato with the clan heads and council members came. Hello everybody. Today is the day you have been waiting for. You worked so hard to get to. Today is the Gen exams to see who amongst you are worthy to fight for our village and be ninjas of the leaf and fight for the will of fire, says Minato, as everybody started to cheer, apart from Naruto. More like the will of Damasis, not a fault. So now, I will let your sensei Uruka take over and explain what you will be doing, Minato says as Uruka stepped up. Thank you, Lord Okagi. Now, my students, I shall explain the test. First is the kunai throwing test, which you will be throwing kunais at a target. The next one is transformation, where you will transform into one person that you know. Of course, we have a few recommendations that you would have to turn into. The third one is cloning, where you will be tested if you can clone, said Uruka as everybody stepped up. It was the first test. They started doing the kunai throwing, with Menma, Mito and Sasuke getting 8 out of 10, Sakura and uh, Ino getting about 6 out of 10, which was just a passing grade, and the others, well, they just got in between Menma and Sakura's uh, grades. Nata then stepped up. Look, it's a demon failure. He's gonna fail. How dare he sullies the ground that Lord Menma Mito walks on, says the students as Menma Mito Sasuke just smell. Naruto stops at the front of the target practice where he was meant to stand as Krishna got mad. Naruto, stop making a scene, yells Krishna, making the kids laugh. It was their fault that he got in trouble. They were proud of themselves. Their mum and dad will be proud of them as well. Naruto, I'm disappointed in you. Just because you aren't the child of prophecy doesn't mean you should make a scene. Minato says. Stop all hogging all the attention. You're not important. Dryer says. Idiot, Sonadi says. Naruto ignored his anger that was still rising as he grabbed the kunai and threw it hitting all the targets without trying. Naruto, 10 out of 10, Iruka says, shocking everyone. The Baka cheated, Saka yelled before Naruto through a kunai piercing her shoulder, make her scream. Ah, what'd you do, you demon? Why'd you hurt me? Said Sakura. What now, you insolent bug? You still think I'm cheating? I hit you from that far away. Do you need more proof? Naruto said, grabbing more kunais, aiming at her. Naruto Uzumaki, how dare you attack a fellow kunuichi? She didn't think that you hit the targets because you were the dead last. Surely you can understand. Your record is bad, yells Krishna. Shut the hell up, poor. Don't think I don't know about your lies, Naruto says, making them flinch. Naruto, how dare you call your mother that? Yells Sonari, punching Naruto with full force, only for Naruto to catch it. You're weak. I can't believe people consider you strong, Naruto says, before tapping her, sending her flying into the wall. Sonari chan, lady. Sonari yelled the two people, uh, Krishna and Dryer. The demon's getting stronger. Too strong. We need to end him, says Rosa Rano, before Naruto appeared behind her, stabbing her in the heart with a kunai, killing her. Auntie no, yelled a crying Sakura, making Naruto laugh. <laughs> As the Ambu starts to surround him. Demon, how dare you attack? Councilwoman Hirano says the root Ambu member before the heads all go flying off. Naruto, what the hell are you doing? Stop throwing a tantrum, yells Minato. What, you thought I would remain your scapegoat forever, you dumbass? You stupid Namakazi? The bitches broke your law, so I killed them, Naruto says with glee. As Minato started, when he couldn't do anything. I, I, I think we should continue, Dry said, not wanting everybody to know the truth. He, he really is a demon. We, we need to kill him, says the people present. Men, Mamita and Sasuke were shaking. They had been training, but they had never seen killing in first hand. That, that, that strength, it should belong to an Uchiha elite like me, Sasuke muttered. How dare that demon, he show me up. I, I'm the child of prophecy. Yeah, I'm not scared. I should be able to kill the Ambu if the demon disgrace did it, said Menma. I'm the child of prophecy. How dare he shoot me up, Mito says. Everybody got pissed that Naruto was making the 
Heroes and the precious Uchiha feel like shit. Next stop, transformation jutsu, Iruka says. Everybody turned into Kages, while well, Naruto came up. Originally he would turn into Yako or Ish Ishiki, but since they weren't known, they wouldn't be enough for a passing grade. So, Naruto wanted to humiliate Krishna, Mito and Tsunade. Sexy jutsu, bitch version, Naruto yelled as clones appeared of Mito, Krishna and Tsunade naked, making blood spill out everywhere. Naruto, Gaki, demon, how dare you! The three yelled as they went to attack Naruto, who casually just dodged them and walked away until they fell from exhaustion. So slow and weak. So this is Leaf's best. Should probably get better shinobi, Minato bastard. Naruto says, making Minato get mad. This bastard has violated his wife, his daughter, and someone who he considered a grandma. How dare you do that to your sister, mother, and godmother, yells Minato. It's what these lies deserve, Naruto says, making flinch as Dry held his shoulder. He knows Ms. Minato whispered. I know, we'll have to deal with him later, says Dryer as Minato nodded. The next stop was the clones. Everybody did clones as Naruto made clones without hand signs. How did a demon do that without hand signs? He's getting too strong, yelled the council member. Before the clone appeared behind the council member, plunging a knife into his heart, killing him. Naruto Uzumaki Namakazi, you won't kill anybody, yells Minato. Naruto snorts. That is it. We've had enough of Disres of the re disrespect. Iruka Sensei. The first match is Menma, Mito and Sasuke vs Naruto. He thinks he's strong. Let's see how strong he is. Fight against someone who's actually been trained and his better siblings and Uchiha yells Minato as everybody cheered. It's time for you to pay, demon. You pay for what you did to Sakura and Auntie Rose and the Ambu and the council members, says Mito, make everybody cheer. I'm, I'm so scared, Naruto says. Sarcastically. What? How dare you mock me? The child of prophecy, Mito says. Who says you're a child of prophecy? Some drunk ass toad? Some fat ass toad? And how would that no but bitch know shit from? I mean, he's just praying ever since that bastard dryer got the contract. He's been sp spilling shit. None of his prophecies ever come true, Naruto says. How dare you disrespect the elder toad? Yells Menma, Mito, Dryer, and Tsunade. How dare you disrespect my summons and pervy sage, I will kill you, says Menma. Ha 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 ha, a weak bug like you, kill me. Don't make me laugh, Menma. I've been hiding my true self since, well, since now. At least I didn't have your mother and dad rig the test for me so I could pass and become rookie of the year every single time. I mean, did you really think a stupid dumbass like you, who doesn't even know how to count to five, would pass the test, the written test, Naruto says as Memma got mad. He wasn't intelligent, but he was a prophesied one. Minato got mad at being exposed. Well, beating the QB would show everybody who the Uchiha elite is. It will help me get the experience to kill him and get Mito's attention. And then I'll restore the Uchiha clan with her, Sasuke says as Mito scowled. She didn't like Sasuke, but right now she wanted to put the demonic filth in his place and Sasuke will be a good servant for her to achieve that. Uruka, start the match already, so we can see the demon fall, Mito said as everybody cheered. Beat the demon or kill the demon. Start, Uruka said after Minato glanced at him, giving him approval. Menma and Mito rushed at Naruto, who dodged each of their blows. Sasuke comes at Naruto with Chidori, which he learnt from Kakashi. Hey demon, your parents didn't have the time to train you, but guess what they had the time to train me. How does it feel that your parents don't care for you? You will always be a disgrace, Sasuke says, making Naruto get mad as everybody laughed. They're not my parents, Naruto says, as Sasuke gets nearer and nearer, causing both parents to flinch. But you calling me a disgrace is funny, when you couldn't even save your clan from being wiped out by one guy, your older weak brother, Naruto says, as he caught the Chidori, shocking everybody, as he started to absorb all of the lightning chakra from him. Sasuke was mad when he saw that his Chidori was formed into nothing. How, how did you do that, you demon? Sasuke yells, but was punched in the face, his skull breaking. Naruto then appears in front of Sasuke with a kunai. You seem so proud of your, those eyes and that tool of reproducing that you have. Let's see what you'll be without it. Naruto says, slashing off the pole and jabbing his eyes. Sasuke let out three rows of pain, each when eyes and the pole was cut off or stabbed. Naruto laughed, leaving everybody horrified. He killed the Uchiha clan. No, no Uchiha. The Uchiha's are dead. Demon. Monster. 
Turchia has been destroyed by the demon was yelled by everybody but one person had been destroyed from the inside Shashki kun yells Sakura passing out from the nightmare she had seen so she could be heard mem- mumbling not my Sasuke kun it's a nightmare over and over Naruto how dare you you might have problems with Sasuke but you shouldn't have gone that far that was just trash talk and now you destroyed the Uchiha clan you shouldn't have taken it to heart this is what happens in battle Minato yelled you think I care you could fuck with Minato you're not my father you never raised me Naruto said when my meter got mad how dare you Naruto, just because mom and dad didn't pay attention to you since we're the child of prophecies and saviors of the world and you're just a disgrace. Yeah, doesn't mean that you could get rude to our father for caring about the world and not, not being selfish, Mito yells as Mito made a wrestling gun. Stop being a spoiled dick, Mama yelled before and teleporting in front of Naruto. Naruto kicked Menma into Mito's wrestling gun. His arms was ripped to shreds. Menma yells. Mito, Krishna, Minato, Snade, Dry, and everybody apart from Naruto. Ha 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 ha. Is that all? Says Naruto as Mito rushes at Naruto. Six tails emerging from her rage. She starts to claw Naruto, who just stops her claws with a single finger and absorbs the chakra. Mito screams as she felt the chakra be absorbed from her. She then fell to the ground as Naruto then gr- lifted her up by the neck and kicked her out of the ring. She only had three tails left. Naruto, what are you doing? Give the back the chakra right now, yelled Krishna. Shut the hell up, you demonic whore. It's a fight. I'm using any means to win, you dumb bitch. How dare you blame me for being the Ninetales when you're the one who released it on the village. After all, you were its Jinchuriki, just like Mito Uzumaki was before. Unlike Mito Uzumaki, you failed to contain it when giving birth. Also, Sunadi, that makes you a demon child as well, Naruto says, looking at Krishna Sunadi with deep... Unhold, unhold, with deep hatred making both of them flinch as Krishna starts to cry Lady Krishna is a demon says a villager kill the demonic family they aren't heroes they're demons Minato is a demon lover no wonder he protected Naruto the demon and his family the Namakazi family were being insulted as Naruto was laughing the villagers were insulting them how dare you trash how dare you expose us Memma yells Losing himself to rage, not having any idea that he just confirmed what Nardo said. You had one purpose in life, and that was to be abused and be a scapegoat. Nardo, you have outlived your usefulness, and now you will be destroyed, Mamma says, as six tails formed. He rushes at Nardo, launching a Bijudama. Nardo just puts out his hand, absorbing the Bijudama, and then blocks an attack from Menma. Mamma tries to hit the Rasengan into Nardo. With his free hand, but Naruto uses his free hand to grab Memma's Rasengan, absorbing the chakra from it. Naruto punches Memma, sending him flying into the Kage monument, breaking off Minato's nose as Minato was mad. Everyone was in fear of Naruto's power and Memma being so demonic. Memma lets out a huge roar as the seventh tail forms. Memma rushes at Naruto with rage building up inside of him, but Naruto blocks his punch. Is that all? I thought you were a child of prophecy. I guess you were a child of prophecy of losers. Naruto says, pissing off Menma. Suddenly, the, shield, the seal on Menma's body's ink starts to fall as eight tails sprout. Ha 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 ha! It seems that you have made my host quite angry, and now my freedom is inevitable. I must thank you, Naruto, and I'll thank you by killing you and everybody here. Says Krama. You speak big, Kyuubi. You might be a biju, but I am a Susuki, says Naruto, as that pissed off Krama. How dare you mock my father, the sage of the six paths, by calling yourself a Susuki. That was his surname, Krama says. Mock me? No, it was he who mocks the Susukis, being a half-breed and calling himself that. It was he who gave these bugs the gift of Chakra, our clan's sacred tre- treasure, and he just gave it to these humans for free when they don't deserve it and for that he and all of his creations will pay Naruto says as he unleashed his power making everybody fall to their knees this wasn't even a percentage this was just 0.5% of his power Krama stood there shocked as, his, as Naruto's Bakugan eyes shifted from the Bakugan to 
the yellow eyes of Ishiki Osuski. He only had memories of this when he was a baby Tentos. This was Ishiki Osuski's eyes, the partner of Kaguya Osuski. The Kurama remembered this from when he was the Tentos. Suddenly, Kurama's tails were pierced onto the ground as chakra rods threw themselves into his tail, making him unable to move. Ah, let me go, Kurama yells as Naruto walked up to the nine tails who stared at him in fear as he screamed at Naruto to get away from him. Naruto then put his hand on Kurama, absorbing eight tails worth of chakra before Kurama deformed, leaving Remma with only a single tail worth of chakra. The village watched in horror and sh- in horror and shock as Memma reverted back from his cubified state to his normal state. Memma looked at Naruto with fear in his eyes, panting as Naruto kicked him out of the ring, securing his victory. Naruto then turned to look at the villagers with an evil smirk on his face. All of them had fear in their eyes seeing the demon best their heroes who was using the demon's own chakra against him. Even Eitos weren't enough. Ha 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 ha. A little display of my power. And you are all shocked and scared. Well, it is the place of mongols and worms like you to fear gods like me. Well, let me show you a percentage of the true strength I possess. Nardis says as a white aura surrounds him. White light engulfs the village as tremors were felt through the village. Earthquakes happened everywhere. Minato was shocked. His legs, no, his entire body was shaking in fear. His legs gave out. This happened to all the villagers. What? What is this power? Minato says. And Memna Mito was scared. The Ninetales were scared at feeling this power. All it was yelling in the stomachs was, Osuski, Osuski, get away. Naruto flew above the village as light shined off of him. He looked like a god ready to deliver vengeance and judgment. Behind Naruto formed truth seeking wolves. As Kurama had begun to fear and get scared even more as he was shouting, Get away, Menma! Get away, Mito! These were the ones he unlocked from training with Jaku when he accessed Ashura Suski's chakra. Naruto looked down on the village as if they were insects. Everyone was scared, even the civilians, babies who couldn't even feel a sense chakra could feel Naruto's power. The, sh- the shinobis were trembling in fear, Dry was trembling in fear the most. Most of the hatred was directed to him because he was the one that made the scapegoat plan. He was the one that ruined Naruto's life. Everybody was scared and they wanted to run. They wanted to get away from the so-called demon, but they couldn't. Their bodies refused to move. They, their bodies refused to go against a clearly superior being. They wanted to call him demon. They wanted to yell. They wanted to do something, but they couldn't. They just couldn't. This village is history, Naruto says, enjoying the fear on the village. Just faces. Naruto still wanted to play with these bugs so he wouldn't destroy them but that wasn't going to stop him from making them fear him by saying a little bit of lies. Of course he would destroy half of the village or something like that because he wanted them to know true fear and that he wasn't just a coward who would die. When Naruto then flushed in front of Naruto regaining his courage. Naruto you need to stop this. We're a family. Minato yells. Snapping the rest of the Namakazis into sense as well as Dryer and Snadi. So the Hokage is here to protect this village. Well too bad, you don't stand a chance against me. I'm not the cloud or the rock. I'm not the Kyubi. I'm Osuski. I'm God. You cannot beat me, Naruto says. No, Naruto. We can stop this. We can be family, Minato yells as Naruto burst into laughter. <laughs> oh, so now you want me to be family. Now you want to beg for your pitiful lives. You would think... I would forgive this village after all of the torture and hatred I endured for no reason at all. You think I'll let this family get away with scapegoating me? Naruto says as Minato's fear start to build up. Menma, Mito, Krishna, Dryer, Tsunade, Gai, Kakashi, Kuranai, Asuma all arrive ready to fight beside the Hokage, ready to defend the village and to stop Naruto. You think you can stop me? Even after I took out the QB with not even a percentage of my power. Well then, I guess a demonstration is in order, Naruto says as he aims his hand at the Hokage monument. As he had his finger pointing out at it, a giant black ball of chakra has formed. Boom! It launches itself towards the Hokage monument, destroying all of it. The village just 
stared in horror as the, the result of that was a massive explosion and lots of village. The streets were filled with blood from civilians who couldn't get away as well as shinobis. Naruto, you have to stop this. We had to sacrifice you. You can't blame us. It was you against the world. We were wrong to blame the nine on you, but me, my Mito held it and they were the child of prophecies. You have to understand, we have to keep them happy or else they might destroy the world. They were the fearful Krishna. Naruto appeared in front of Dryer, gripping him, ignoring Krishna as he formed a giant board of chakra and aimed it at the village. Tell me you can this abandoned piece of shit. Were you jealous that I had family? Is that why you wanted to remove me? Since you wanted someone else to feel the pain of not having a family? Naruto asked. Naruto, I I'm sorry, Dryer said with fear. But Naruto didn't care. Dryer just being near Naruto was scared. He sent his body into protector mode, into flea mode. Summon the damn elder toad here now, Naruto yelled at Dryer. No, Naruto, I can't. Take your anger out of me, Dryer said. Naruto fired another ball of ch chakra. This was a small one. He fired it at the clan district, killing 50% of clansmen, as they were there defending their homes, in case the demon tried to come after them or tried to take something from the clans. I said summon him here now, or else more will die, Naruto says. Summon the frog here. Give the boy what he wants, or else he will destroy us. You are Kanoha Shinobi. You have to sacrifice whatever it takes to save us, even if it's a damn animal, yelled the civilians. Dry has seen no way his reputation will survive if he doesn't go and help by summoning the toad. He decides to be fine, I'll summon him here, Dry says, as he sum did a special summoning that forced the elder toad into the village. Dryer, why have you summoned me? Uh, the elder toad says, but was pierced by Chakra Road disrupting his chakra and making him unable to wield chakra so he could no longer leave. So you're a fat ugly fuck that ruined my life by sprouting your bullshit naughty yard. I did not ruin anybody's life. My goal was to save everybody. If one person's life ruined meant thousands or millions more could have happy lives, I took the chance. You were sacrificed young Naruto. Your goal was determined from birth. I just led you to your path, he said as Naruto got mad when the toad said this. The truth seeking orbs formed around Naruto once again as a giant sword appeared from the truth seeking orbs. The toad was shocked. He never saw this since Hagoromo. No, please don't kill me. You're the child of prophecy, says the toad, but was cut apart as his body turned into dust. It seems you're dead now, you abomination. Naruto says as Minato Dryer and one of the Konoha summoners let out a roar of pain as they Felt the summoning contracts leaving them as the village had just betrayed the summoning clans. Naruto, how could you kill him? Minato yells as he stared at Dryer, who had a sad look in his eyes. His family, who were the toads, were destroyed. Naruto killed him. Dryer ruined my life, so I ruined his. An eye for an eye. Naruto says, laughing. Naruto, please stop this. This is your home. Krishna says, begging like a whore she was. My home. Which kind of home would attack one of its people? Naruto says. Naruto don't, the village's family, Minato says, insects like you aren't my family, I will now make you suffer, Naruto says, as a giant ball of chakra, a giant ball of chakra formed, Naruto then fires at the village, destroying half the village, killing 70% of the people, destroying all the whole root base, making Dunzo yell out in rage, not my root base, as Naruto starts to laugh, <laughs> this is just a preview, a prelude to what's to come. When I return, I will destroy you, so get stronger so you can fight me. <laughs> knowing you, that will never happen. So, live in fear, knowing that this is a monster you have created of your own doing. Naruto says. Naruto was currently sitting on his throne, with Jaku sitting on top of his lap. The two were making out. A few years has passed, and now they both were 16, four years in particular. Naruto watched with sadistic pleasure as the leaf suffered. So my love, it's time for us to begin our plan. The Akatsuki have captured a few Jinchokis and the rest will be at the tuning exams at the Leaf Village and we will attack the Leaf on the tuning exams to retrieve them. Yaku says. Yes, that is the plan Yaku-chan. I can't believe I damaged the Leaf so much that they couldn't even hold the tuning exams in the last four years and they delayed it for four more years. The leaf were the 
But now we will completely destroy them and everything they hold dear. Naruto says. Yes, and we will make that bastard dryer watch as his superior clone, K- Kashin Koji, extracts the nine tails from them. It'll be like he killed them. It'll be so funny to see the look on his faces as he is reprimanded or attacked for killing their his own precious Charles of Prophecy, Yako says. Let us go, Nartokun. It's time for us to show these Mongols, the Akatsuki, their places in this world. That pain, he calls himself God. Well, let me introduce to him who a true goddess is and you will show him who a true god is. Ain't that right, my dear husband, Yako says. That is right, Yako chan. How dare that mongrel, that little human, calls himself a god. Yes, because he has the eyes of the half breed scum. I can't wait to show him his place. I wonder how funny it will be for the Sage of Six Paths to see the world he loves destroyed, Naruto says, as both Naruto and Yako laugh. Alright then, let's go, Naruto says, as Naruto and Yako arrive in front of the Akatsuki base. Shinra Tensei, Yako says, her Bakugan switching to the Renishalin gun, blowing up the base. Kara rushes at the Akatsuki, each overpowering them. Yako walks up to Obito, making a chakra rod and killing him instantly. He didn't even suspect that. Everybody stared in shock, especially Payne and Cronon. Their leader, Madra, was dead. You won't stop us. I shall achieve peace, Payne says. Shinra Tensei, he yells. As a shockwave sent the car members flying back apart from Yarko and Nato. What? How is that possible? Pain yells. Is that all? Nato says, laughing to himself. Honey, he's a mortal. It's to be expected. He's nothing but trash, Yarko says, making Pain get mad. How dare you, you dumb bitch. I am God. How dare you call me a filthy mortal. You're the filthy mortal. I possess the Rinnegan, the eyes of the gods, Pain says, as Nato gets mad, seeing this little dirty mongol. This, his beautiful goddess, his wife, he will show this bastard his place. Within seconds, Naruto is in front of Pain, punching Pain, standing and flying back. As he grabs Pain and punches him twice in the head, punches him twice in the shoulders, dislocating his shoulders, grabbing him by his neck, throwing him away. Pain then recovers and does some hand sides and slams his hand into the ground. Summoning Jutsu, Pain yells as Several summons appear, but Naruto raises his hands and several chakra rods pierce them. As the other paths of pain start to attack Naruto and Yaku. Before that happens, pain, the tensei path pain teleports back. How? How do you have that ability? That's a Rinnegan ability. You dare mock me? A god? Yells pain. Ha 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 ha. You, a god. That's funny. The chakra rods aren't a Rinnegan ability. It's a Osusuke ability. In fact, all of Chaka all originates from my clan, Naruto says, as the two rush at the other parts. Yako and Naruto taking them out within seconds. Now you die, Naruto says, as he forms Chaka rods, sending it at Pain, but Conan gets in the way and dies. No, Conan! yells Pain, crying in rage and anger, but then a Chaka rod pierces him, killing him. It, it could be seen behind. Pain was Yaku with a giant chakra rod straight through his heart. Is that all? I thought you would be stronger than that. Oh wait, no, I didn't. You're mortals, Yaku says. Yaku-chan, truly? You bring me to fight these lesser scum? I mean, I know none of the humans will even pose a threat to us, but at least bring me to fight someone strong. Was this all the power? Naruto says as Yaku hugs Naruto. Honey, there's mortals. You know that they're weak. Pathetic and dirty, Yako says as the two kiss, but then they are interrupted as they avoid a punch from an angry Itachi. Oh my, aren't you letting out your inner Sakura today? What are you doing? Acting like an angry gorilla? Are you impersonating Sakura? Naruto says, You will pay. You will pay for killing the Uchiha clan and for maiming Sasuke, Uchiha, my brother, and the person who was meant to redeem our clan. How dare you? How dare you? Destroy his ability to reproduce. You destroyed the Uchiha clan. You didn't even stop there. You destroyed my home. You killed 70% of our villagers and shinobis. And then you destroyed half of my village. How dare you? I'll do all in my power to avenge my home, my family, my f- friends, my brother. Itachi says, Susno yells Itachi as a full body Susno forms 
The torture had been training to kill Naruto and to avenge his clan. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver me timbers. Fuck off. Was that all the power you have? A Susano? Please. A Susano is no threat to me. And what's that sword for? Compensation for the tiny dick? No wonder Uchiha's have that. They're born naturally small. Naruto mocks as Itachi gets rage. How dare you! Uchiha's are perfect, he yells. But Naruto wasn't scared as Itachi slashes at Naruto. But then Naruto's fist catches the Susano. Itachi, thinking he had won, starts to mock Naruto as the dust covered Naruto. How's that? Speaking big, only for Uchiha elite like myself to kill you, Itachi says. Itachi, in this past few months and years, had developed an Uchiha superiority complex because he had beaten pain more times in training. Itachi then looks at Yaku. I guess your boyfriend was trash. Yes, I kill you, ho. Perhaps I'll use you to repopulate the clan. It'll be a big fuck you to him, Itachi says. Oh, really? Well, I wouldn't want to touch you, you disgusting little filth. But if I were you, I'd dodge now, says Yaku. Only for the dust to reveal Naruto holding the Susanoo sword. Naruto punches Itachi, denting it, his Susanoo, as he grabs the Susanoo sword and lifts up the Susanoo, throwing it. You know, this wasn't personal, but because of what you said to Yaku, now you made it personal. Naruto says before he squeezed the sword, destroying it. He then grabbed the Susanoo by its chest, smashing his hands together, destroying the whole Susanoo as he grabbed Itachi's neck. Naruto squeezed Itachi's neck, killing him. You took your time, honey, Yaku says as Naruto kissed her. I just wanted to let loose on that little bastard that dare called your hoe and said that he would even think about touching you. He even dreamt that, he even thought that that was an insult, that was illegal. How dare he even thinks that, Naruto f- says as Yaku kissed him. You know that little mongo can't hurt me, honey. He's such a weakling. Plus, I'm only for you, naruto Yaku says as Naruto calmed down. The rest of Korra had killed the Akatsuki. Yaku then made a chakra wood, piercing Zetsu, as she didn't want any of Kaguya's dirty remains, the person who had betrayed their clan. Naruto and Yaku grabbed the Gado Mazo, the Tento's husk, and teleported away. The rest of Akatsuki joined them as they went back to their base. That was so easy to think those mongrels, those mo- mortals, would fear such weaklings. These little mongrels aren't even a threat to anybody. It's insulting to the word threat to use them as an example, Naruto says as he sat on the phone. Well, honey, you know mortals are weak. I can't believe that that insect pain had the audacity to insult me and claim that he would be better than me. And especially that a touchy bastard. How dare he says he would touch me, that disgusting, dirty mongo. And the way you defended me, it was so hot, Naruto-kun. Yaku says as Naruto blushes. Yaku then took a seat on her throne, which was Naruto's lap. Now then, Naruto-kun, let's have some fun, Yaku says as the two engaged in activities. They started to do it on the throne, but we won't get into that. We now go to a leaf point of view. When Naruto did his paperwork, he was tired. It took him all these years just to stabilize the village from Naruto's attack. It had become so bad now. Many civilians hated his family. In fact, he had to let the civilians beat on his kid Menma and Mito. At first, he and his family tried to resist, but then the villagers threatened to revolt and put Donzo in charge. That was something he could not allow. He could not allow Konoha to go to the dark path, so he agreed, exchanging his children for the happiness and the good of the village. Menma and Mito first lashed out when they were attacked but Donzo put seals on them, making them unable to use the Nine Twist Chakra or any of the chakra when going out for the regular beatings. Krishna was spared from beatings, but she was stoned over and over, and the villagers shouted that she turned against the leaf, aiding the Kyubi in attacking them. It was hell, but then it got worse. For some reason, the Fire Lord had turned against him, his court refusing to fund the village. The Fire Lord had no choice but to comply and agree with his court's decision. What Minato didn't know was this was Naruto 
Korra was an organization that controlled the elemental nations for years. They had spies in the courts. Naruto just ordered the courts to not support the Fire Nation and just stood like that. The Fire Lord had no choice but to stop supporting the Leaf Village. But onto the village. The village had just only after these years just now stabilized. But the whole village was living in poverty. Long ago, before Naruto's attack as they called it, BNA, the shinobi would prosper, but now they barely made enough to eat. Most of their money went to rebuilding the village. The clan, well, let's not talk about the clans, actually, Minato would. They had it the worst. Instead of living in districts and compounds, they lived in apartments. Because the leaf couldn't afford to give such big space and pieces of land to a single group of people because of how small the land was due to the fact that the leaf was now a small village. Most of the old land, the land that Naruto attacked, had become unlivable. The air was poisonous. The ground was not stable. Knock knock. Minato heard sounds as he saw Dryer enter the door. With sadness, normally Dryer would enter through the window, but now Dryer was just sad. His family, the Toza, had abandoned him because of Naruto. Naruto had also killed Dryer's grandfather figure, the elder Toad. What's up, Dryer? Minato says softly. Minato, the finals will be starting tomorrow. I hope you're ready. The remaining Jinchokis will be here as well. Gara of the One Tails, Yugitani of the Two Tails, Fu of the Six Tails. They will all be entering the exam. And B will be there as the Raikage's guards. While men and Mita, we know they will be there. We need to be ready in case the Akatsuki attacks. I, I, I will make sure that Old Man Toad's prophecy is fulfilled even if he doesn't believe that I had no choice, even though he's dead. I will I will make sure that his dream lives on of peace, Dry says, not knowing that Akatsuki had been destroyed by Naruto. Yeah, minato Kun, we need to protect men and Mito, says Krishna coming in. Dryer, Sonadi said seriously. Have you heard anything from Nar about Naruto? Said Sonadi with a face turning into fear when mentioning the name Naruto. His power was just so scary. Nobody was able to sleep at night. In fact, half of the village budget went to doctors so that they could try and find a way to like stop the memories. The Yamanaka clan couldn't remove the memories as when they came face to face with the memories, their own PTSD would the would act up stopping the mind control in fact some people got stuck in the other person's brain so it was now banned from Yamanakas to use their jutsus on leaf shinobis because it was too dangerous in fact the Yamanaka clan was now useless as their own PC PTSD would activate randomly no I haven't Dryer said as this somewhat got them happy they hoped that Naruto was dead well, the meeting is can uh, is over. So now let's so now let's just continue with what we were doing. Minato says as everybody nodded. Dryer was on the way to his hot springs. Suddenly, oil hits him, similar to his toad oil. Dryer spots a man launching fireballs at him. As Dryer does, hand signs launching his own fireball, but the man spits several fireballs at him, burning him. Ah, who the hell are you? Dryer grunts out, a superior. The man says as Dry rushes at Koji and the two go into Taijutsu. Dry manages just to get the mask off. You're me! How? says Dryer. No, I'm Kishin Koji, a clone of you, made by science to be better. I serve Naruto Summer and his plans require you to be captured, says Koji, before a rocket fires at him. One of the rockets turns into chakra suppressing wires and wraps around him, suppressing his chakra as he is then escorted to the Kara base. Dry was in a cell. He couldn't move. His wire stopped his chakra flow. He couldn't move. His body was paralyzed, essentially. The man says something about Naruto. No, I must get there. I need to warn Minato. I don't know what's going on, but Naruto's back. Dry started to bang on the walls. Let me out. Let me out. I need to stop the demon. The demons are dangerous to leave, he yells. As he heard two footsteps coming in. The first thing he saw was a beauty of great caliber, a pale skinned goddess, and beside her was someone that made his PTSD act, act up. No, Naruto! Dryer couldn't breathe properly as he was in so much fear, just Naruto's presence scared him. 
Hello again, Jiraiya. Did you miss me? How's life without your toads? Did you enjoy having your family ripped from you? Just like you did to me when I was born? Naruto says, Naruto, you won't get away with this. I promise you, I will get out of here and I will stop you. For Menma Mito, Jiraiya said, getting courage when he thought of Menma Mito, his beloved godsons. Oh, how funny it would be for the leaf to see you, you destroy your own godson and goddaughter. Your clone, you know he's at the village pretending to be you. Naruto says, so, so that's your target, Men no Mito. Why? Why would you attack them? They're innocent. They don't know any better. They're a child of prophecies. You can't stop them. No, they'll stop you. They're a child of prophecies, Dryer says. I wonder how funny it will be to see Men no Mito hurt and betrayed by the one they call the Godfather, the pervy sage, as they extract the nine tails from them, killing them. Naruto says, as Dryer eyes widen. You're a monster. You're a psychopath. How could you do that? You want to destroy them? Why? Because we chose them over you? You're not a child of prophecy. You're naturally evil, yelled Dryer. Or else what? Naruto says. Or else I'll destroy you. Dryer says, making Naruto laugh. <laughs> With what? Your summons? Your toads? Oh wait, they didn't support you. You betrayed them. You will go sage mo- Oh wait, you can't use that ear because you need the toads. Oh, I know, you'll start spewing some shit about the Child of Prophecy. But too bad, that could only convince brain dead idiots, Naruto says, as Jai screamed in pain. He was now being tortured. That's what you get for hurting my Naruto kun, Yaku says, as Naruto watched as Yaku sadistically ripped Jai apart and then healed him, ripping him apart and healing him over and over again. He then watched as she made him watch gay movies as she then made him watch Sanadi's clones have dicks and then they touched up Dryer and actually, well, let's not get into that. Ah, get away from me, Sanadi, you never meant to have that, ah, ah, he screamed. Naruto laughed but eventually they grew bored. Dryer wasn't that entertaining, his mind broke within a few hours of being tortured. We now see Naruto and Yaku entering the leaf village with several nation lords. This allowed them to skip the checks as the shinobis wanted funding so they thought without annoying the fire lord and the other lords they would be able to get some money. Kara had many lords part of their outer circle. It was funny how they were able to control the world. Yaku had started the previous three wars because she grew bored and wanted to see dirty mongrel insects fight each other. They took a seat on the fire lord's booth which was one of the most luxurious they sat on the Fire Lord's throne and his wife's throne, uh, while the Fire Lord and his wife sat on the floor like dogs. Minato then flashed down. Yako and Nato looked at each other as they nodded. Ladies and gentlemen, today, boom! Minato stopped what he was doing to see Mema and Mito go flying back as chakra suppressing wires surrounded them. Holding the wires was Dryer. Dryer, what are you doing? Krishna yelled. Sensei, what the hell? yelled Minato, who was about to flash to them. But then, a huge boom was heard. Orochimaru was in the Kage boot. Alongside him was A and Onaki. As they took advantage of the situation and attacked, several shinobi started to attack leaf citizens and villages, villages as well as shinobis. Suddenly, three giant chakra signatures were heard and Shukaku, Matabi and Gyoki were seen, the last few shinobis. Yaku appeared with the Gadomazu as she stripped Fu onto it while Dryer stripped Menna and Mito onto it. They started to drain the bridges into the Gardomazo. The other Kagi surrounded Minato and Krishna who were going to try and stop the Gardomazo from being used. The Shinobis rushed to attack the armies of Snake as well as Cloud, Rock and Sound Shinobis that was attacking the village. They had to defend the village. They couldn't care about the demon. Who cared if the demons died? Suddenly, a giant Black chakra ball hit B. When the people looked to see who it was, the leaf froze in terror. I'm sorry, Mr. Eight Tails, but destroying the leaf is something I will do, Naruto says, rushing at him. You fool, you fool. You tried to stop us. Stop trying to act cool, says B. As he pushes Naruto with his tentacles, but Naruto stopped it. Naruto grabbed the tentacles and started to fling him around like how Bowser does. Like how Mario does with Bowser Mario 64. He spins him around and throws him away. He punches B 
onto the ground, smashing up half of B's eight toes form as it starts to reform. So weak, not even a challenge. No, no die or surrender. Actually, you're going to die, Ihoi, so that I may complete my plan. Naruto says, Never, says B. Naruto got tired, so he made a giant cube appear, trapping the Biju before firing a giant blast at B, forcing him to transform back. Naruto then strapped him onto the guard of Mazo. Naruto then teleported to Yugotoni, who's mad. You killed B, Sensei, she yelled as she rushed at Naruto with a giant blue flame, but Naruto just used his truth seeking orbs to disperse it. He then kicked Matabi's head, forcing Yugotoni to de transform. Yaku had captured Gara in the meantime, as all of them was now drained of their Ninetos Chakra. Minato Krishna, Sanadi, and the actual dryer appeared. You killed my babies! She yelled. That we did. Naruto says as Drya was then grabbed by Minato. You helped them. Unknown to them, Koji had switched places with Drya thanks to Yaoko's dojutsu. Drya watched everything uh, and he was horrified as Naruto made it look like he betrayed the leaf and his godchildren. Minato, you, you have to believe me. It was a clone they made. It was... Uh, Drya says as he was punched with blood splits out of his mouth. I don't believe you. Ambu, arrest him, says Minato as the Ambu arrested him. Minato-kun, says Krishna. Look, as Minato looked in the direction that Krishna pointed at when she said that and they saw Mito and Mema crawling away. Thanks to the half Uzumaki blood, they barely survived. The chakra system was destroyed. So now they managed to heal them, but they had no chakra anymore. I will stop your evil plan, Naruto. You destroyed the child of prophecies, and for that you must pay, Minato says, as the other Kagis appeared right beside him. You capture our Jinchurikis, you're the Akatsuki, you will pay, says Oniki. No, we're Kara. We killed the Akatsuki, using them for our plans, just like how my girlfriend over there controlled the world for the last millennium and made you lot start the last three wars. You're nothing but puppets, they're Mongols for us to play with your toys, Naruto says. So it's that bitch's fault my clan's dead, Krishna says. Naruto, how could you? You're an Uzumaki and yet you side with that murderer? The murderer of our clan, Krishna says. It's not just the Uzumaki clan murderer I side with, but it's also the Uchiha clan. It was, well actually, I was the one that massacred the Uchiha clan, Naruto says. As Sasuke got mad, his winning gun flaring up as the Sage of Six Pass had visited him telling him how to stop Naruto and that he needed to stop him on all about Naruto's plan. He couldn't believe that Naruto wanted to strip chakra from the world and turn them all into the chakra fruits just so that they can be food for Naruto's clan. He, the Sage Six Pass has healed his Sharingan and gave him a Rinnegan in his left eye but it couldn't heal his precious pole. The Uchiha clan was still dead. You damn demon, I'm gonna make you pay for killing my clan. I'm gonna make you pay for destroying my ability to reproduce. You're gonna die, you little monster, yelled Sasuke. I had the Uchiha clan massacred as revenge. You know Kara has control over the whole village, right? And all of the lands, Naruto says, laughing. How dare you, he yells. But that's not all. Neji, Hinata, I had the Hyuga created the cage bird seal, Yaku says. Those lesser life forms, they dare copy the eyes of my clan, is what they deserve. Yaku says, as she explained Kara, the Kagis were horrified and so were the Shinobis of how this one group controlled the whole entire world, of how this one crazy lunatic girl controlled the entire world, how she forced wars, how she forced the humans to destroy and kill civ uh, people who were able to catch up to the Suskis. How dare you? F my father died because of you. Neji says getting mad at Yaku. Enough, I go bored now. Yaku-chan ca cast the jutsu, says Naruto. Of course honey, she says. Oh no you don't, I won't let you turn us into a chakra fruit, says Sasuke. So the CG6 pass really did reveal our plans to you, but it's not like you could do anything. You're what, a quarter Suski? I'm full, Naruto says. I will stop you, I will destroy the shinobi system and I will create a world where I will rule, a perfect world. Sasuke says as he dashes at Yaku, the shinobis dash at Naruto, he cuts them all down. Blood was exploded everywhere as leaf heads were, went flying 
as mist head went flying, as rock heads went flying, as cloud heads went flying, and so did the sound. Minato then flashes behind Naruto, trying to punch Naruto, but Naruto punches him, sending him flying backwards. Minato kun! yelled Krishna as the chains rushed towards Naruto, but to her horror, Naruto's truth seeking orbs destroyed her chains completely, destroying her ability to use them. The right Kage punches Naruto with his lightning sh- cloak chakra, but only for Naruto to absorb his entire chakra supply and then punch him, sending him flying defenseless without chakra to defend him with one hand. But then Snarly pun- chakra enhanced punch was caught with the other. The chakra was drained from her as she too was sent flying with all of her chakra drained. Naruto then sent the truth seeker or to kill Richimaru, while Delta killed Anku and the rest of the Karo members had destroyed the village of the sound, destroying every single curse mark user. Oniki then launches a particle style, but to his shock, Nautilus absorbs it. Is that all, old man? Nautilus says, as Chaka Robs appeared, piercing all of the Kagis. Nauta then saw Yaku getting attacked by Sasuke. How dare you touch my woman, you dirty, ugly Uchiha, Nauta says, as Sasuke was preventing her from using the Jutsu, so Nauta teleported in front of Sasuke, grabbing him by the neck, literally grabbing Chaka Robs and piercing his Rinnegan out. Ah, my eye! yelled Sasuke before he had his arms cut off by a chakra sword made by Naruto. Naruto then threw Sasuke away as Naruto held Yaku's hand. The two then did the hand signs, chakra style, great fruit emergence, they said, as every single human, Sasuke, Minato, Menma, Mito, Krishna, Snadi, and the Kagis, the villagers, the shinobis of every single village turned into roots as the Tento's husk, the garden muzzle turned into a huge tree and then two fruits formed due to the potential of the earth and the elemental nations. Their chakra fruit has finally been formed. All of the humans were finally dead and the the well the the, the chakra batteries that they called them, aka the humans, had been turned into a chakra fruit. Naruto and Yaku grabbed a fruit as both of them ate one of the fruits. Naruto's skin turned fully pale as his yellow Ishiki Dojutsu got turmoil and rings in it. His chakra that was expanded to beyond that of a king. He became the first Ususki god. Yaku also expen- expanded. She became the first Yaku. She became the first Ususki goddess. The two then kissed. It was over. The humans that hurt Naruto were chakra fruits that had been eaten. The mission was over. This world was now in harvesting site for Ususki to make potent chakra fruit for the clan to eat. We did it, Naruto-kun, Yaku says. Yeah, we did, Naruto says. Time skip. A little girl could be seen running through the halls of a castle. Grandpa, Grandpa, she yelled out as she came in front of an old man. This was the former Osuski king. Can you tell me how Papa Naruto and Mami Yaku harvested the chakra fruit from the elemental nation, the first ever chakra fruit from the best chakra fruit harvesting site? says Naruko, Naruko Suski. Of course Naruko Suski, daughter of Naruto Suski and Yaku Suski, and the granddaughter of Ai, the former Osuski king, Ren Osuski, and the father of Yaku Suski. I would love to tell you, my beautiful granddaughter, he says. But guys, that's all for this whole series. Peace. Peace. Peace.